All right, hey guys, uh, good morning, and uh, welcome to your unique devotion. Uh, today, reading James chapter 4, what I've been doing is reading each chapter every day. So tomorrow will be chapter 5, the last of James, just to kind of ingest uh, James a little bit. And then what we'll do is the same with the book of Luke. Go back and uh, break it down uh, section to section and look for that God question that we can uh, draw on every day to challenge ourselves and try to grow with God and open that communication a little more. So, um, try not to ramble afterwards. I'll try to just keep questions and comments till later. It can be difficult for me because I always see good stuff. But hopefully you see good stuff. And really, if God's pointing something out to you in, in this chapter, please stay with that. Um, pray about it all day, contemplate it all day, meditate on it all day, submit it to God back and forth all day, and um, just see how it will change your life, and your relationship with Him, and just everything around you. <clears throat> so, without further ado, if you have your listening ears on, let's get started. James chapter 4 Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity, 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 that's a weird word, with God? Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealously? But he gives more grace. Therefore he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. Do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of a law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who are you to judge another? Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell, and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. Ooh, that's some really good stuff. Um, I'm just going to say this one thing. Uh, James uh, chapter 4 verse 7 uh, it starts off with, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. That just needs to be done every single day, right when, as soon as you get up in the morning. And uh, I think I actually made a video. That was the feature, actually. Our first feature uh, talked about that. So, nope, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Just ingest it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. 
uh, please, if you need to, go back and re-listen to it again and uh, just keep ingesting it and I promise we'll go back and really hash through it and you know the rest but I will tell you <laughs> comments down below please like the video because it's fun uh, if you'd like to be featured on this channel um, please with a favorite scripture or a, a story that, that has to do with your life or both um, please uh, email that to me that's down in the D box which is also where Da, 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 da. The pump up music that I always put in is down there. And today it is pump up. It's not a uh, chill out. So hopefully it gets the blood flowing. And on that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve today. And even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. <laughs> Till next time, have a wonderful day.